In this video, the last video of the Canon EF Lens 101 series, we'll take a look at some lens accessories, as well as how to care for your lenses. Everyone always loves accessories and gear, so let's go ahead and cover those first. The first items we'll discuss are lens hoods. Canon's L series lenses are supplied with lens hoods, but for other lenses, you can buy a dedicated hood as an accessory. Hoods help block that unwanted glare from entering through the lens, causing glare and lens flare. A side benefit of the lens hood is that it actually helps protect your lens as you carry it around. Canon makes a specific lens hood for nearly every lens, so make sure you order a hood for the exact lens you intend to put it on. If you want to add some reach to your telephoto lenses, then a tele-extender can come in really handy. It's a device that fits between your camera and lens and converts the lens to even greater telephoto power. For example, a Canon 1.4 times extender effectively multiplies your focal length by 1.4 times. This makes, let's say, a 200 millimeter focal length, 280 millimeters. And a two times extender effectively doubles your lens's focal length. Check the Canon website to verify that the lenses you intend to use are compatible with the Canon brand tele-extenders because not every lens is. And keep in mind that an extender will reduce your lens's widest maximum aperture by one or two stops. So for instance, if the maximum aperture of the lens was f4, a 1.4 times extender would effectively make it f5.6. But extenders are a great way of lengthening the reach of your lens without taking up too much room in your camera bag with another lens. Extension tubes, on the other hand, are a little different. They make conventional lenses, especially standard zooms, function more like macro lenses. Another type of accessory is a close-up lens, like the Canon 250D and 500D versions. These screw into the front of your lens like a filter. They work particularly well with telephoto zooms, and there's no light loss with close-up lenses. Manual focus is always a good idea when using these lenses, as it gives you more control over your critical focus. Some of the most popular lens accessories are filters. Filters normally screw in the front threads of your lens, although some large super telephotos use drop-in filters which fit into the rear of the lens. For most photographers, the most useful single filter is the circular polarizing filter. This can cut reflections and glare and deeply saturate skies and other colors. The effect of a polarizer is one of the few that cannot be duplicated during post-processing using photo editing software. Neutral density, or ND filters, are great for cutting light, allowing slower shutter speeds, such as photographing waterfalls in daylight to get a nice, smooth, silky effect. Some larger Canon lenses can accept an optional tripod mount ring allowing you to tripod mount the lens securely to this ring and not with the camera's body tripod socket. There are different versions of these rings intended for specific lenses, so check the Canon USA website for details. With these larger lenses, a tripod mount ring can mean balanced operation if you work with the tripod or monopod, and they make it easy to rotate for horizontal and vertical shooting. Finally, there are a few things to know about caring for your lens. First, make sure that when you wipe the glass on the front of the lens that you don't use anything with an abrasive surface that could scratch the glass. Lint-free and microfiber cloths usually work the best. It's also good to keep your camera bag clean. Most of the dust that enters your camera body actually comes from inside the camera bag. So while we try so hard to keep the camera clean, keeping the bag clean also helps keep everything in good shape. When changing lenses, you should try to do it in a controlled environment without a lot of wind and sand blowing around to minimize things getting inside your camera body. If you've got a lens with IS on it, make sure you turn IS off before you put the lens on or take it off the camera body. And if you're not using a lens, it's always good to put the body cap on the camera and the lens cap on the back of the lens. And when you're removing the lens or storing it for traveling with it, store it in the protective case it came in or another case just to keep it from getting banged around too much. I think you'll find that by knowing the accessories that you can use with your lenses, you'll see they become even more useful and creative. And by taking care of them and protecting the money you've invested, you'll see that your Canon glass will give you great photos for a long time to come. Thanks for joining us for the Canon EF Lens 101 series. We hope you find these videos helpful as you're learning more about your lenses. 
Also, be sure to check out the other Canon 101 videos found on the Canon USA YouTube channel or on the Canon Digital Learning Center website. On this website, you'll find a plethora of other tutorials and white papers that cover Canon's products, even a calendar of live events like Canon's EOS Discovery Days and Canon's live learning programs. These events will help you take what you learn on the 101 series to the next level. On behalf of everyone at Canon, thanks for watching.